Recording musicians know that it's really easy for your DAW to get in the way of recording music. Having to shift your focus away from playing an instrument to controlling your computer can be frustrating and taxes the creative process. One way to help in this situation is to free up your hands by assigning some basic transport controls to pedals. In this video, I'll show you how you can use a MIDI Expression Quattro and two sustain type pedals to record, stop and go back, play, and even undo. To do this, we're using a bit of MIDI Expression Magic in the form of dual CC mode. In this mode, MIDI Expression sends out one CC for short presses and another for long presses. Now we need to assign these CCs to functions in Cubase. So from the Devices menu, select Device Setup. And we're going to add a generic remote. Now I've previously set this up so it's already here, but I'll just go and uh, remove all these and start from scratch. Make sure you sign your MIDI in and your MIDI out. All right, and now we need to add four devices, four controls, I guess. I'll call the first one, one short. The second one, one long. Two short. And two long. Now, we can use uh, the learn function to go ahead and learn these controls. So just highlight the control you want with that learn thing checked and press on it. Go to the next one, we'll do the long press. That's the same. Short press, pedal two, and the long press. Now that we have these controls here, we need to uh, assign them to functions in Cubase. So uh, we want to do commands for all of them. So we're going to click on device and so command, 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 command. Good. Now that we're going to do transport controls for all of these, so we're going to select transport, transport, transport. And the last is for the undo, and that's actually an edit function. So pull that up. All right, now you can assign these any way you want, but um, these seem to be pretty good, and I recommend them. So here I go, start, stop. So when you press on it quickly, you'll get the start, stop function. When you do the long press, you'll get record. This one, we're going to do the stop function. And uh, you might ask, why are we doing stop when we already have start stop here? Well, um, there's a special function, Cubase, where you press stop twice and it'll go back to your last start position, so that's very useful. And from the edit menu, we want undo. And the last thing we need to go is these flags and make sure they're set to receive. If you do not have this receive here, uh, it, won't, it won't control anything. All right, so I'm gonna apply. All right, we're all set up, so now we'll do a long press to record. Stop and go back. We can play. And do the long press to undo.